Hey guys, it's me, Steve, uh, coming to you from Globe Talk 100K. I apologize, it's been a while since my last uh, broadcast, but the fact is, I've had a lot of stuff to do personally, and uh, but I'm here now, so that's great. I'm really excited today because I've got a new program to show you that comes from Microsoft Windows. It's free. Everybody understands the value of being able to zoom in on whatever you're presenting on YouTube. Well, they have a Zoom program that, like I said, comes free from Windows. Uh, full confession time, I haven't figured out every part of it on how to use it, but I'll show you what I know that can get you started. So anyway, let's get started. As always, uh, we go down to here to the start button, and in here, you type in the word magnifier. It's magnifier. I'm not going to do it because I already have it on my system. Uh, but as I said, it's called magnifier. It'll come up around here someplace, and you can access it that way. I would recommend putting it on your desktop. I have it down here in the task bar. Excuse me. I have it down here in the task bar, and um, it's just for easy access. At any rate, here we go. Here it is right here, magnifier. I'll bring it down uh, to, to a better view. One thing you should know is that it goes to sleep, as it were, and it will follow you around to a point. Um, but you just click on the magnifier like that and it works just fine. At any rate, to zoom in, you press the plus key or the, the you click on the plus button. By the way, I'm using Windows 7 for anybody that's interested. But as I said, you press the plus button and you'll notice that the magnifier goes up by 50%. In this case, it'll go up by 50% increments every time I press it. As I understand it, it goes up to 1600% magnification. I don't know why anybody would want that, but if you want that, it's certainly there. And to get it back to where it was before, And you'll notice it goes down by 50% increments whenever I press the minus button. Uh, over here, okay, you notice that it says 50%. This is where you set your magnification increments for zooming in and out. If I were to move this over, it would go 100% and it would go from 100 to 200 to 300 percent magnification and so forth. But I like to keep it at 50 percent. Now, there's also this color inversion thing that's pretty cool, although I don't know why you'd use it, but it's still pretty cool. Let me show you. Kind of looks like an x-ray or something like that. Anyway, at any rate, we'll turn that back to its original color. These are the parts that I don't understand. This is the tracking. This is follow the mouse pointer, which is what I understand. What I don't understand is follow the keyboard focus and have the magnifier follow the insertion point. I believe that has something to do with uh, if you're writing an email or you're in Word or whatever and you want to do it that way, you can. At any rate, I'll just leave it on follow the mouse pointer. And we'll go back to views. It's been on full screen all this time, OK? But now we're going to switch it. Well, let me go back a second. Let's switch it to 150% magnification, even 200% magnification. So let's go to lens. Let's go to the lens view. 
and as you can see it's like a magnifying glass anywhere it follows them and it follows the mouse pointer anywhere I go with the magnifier it increases it accordingly magnification wise if we want to go back and go to the views section again and click on the docked view you'll note that it's docked here it, it's stationary okay but that it follows the magnification this is pretty cool or not follows the magnification but follows the pointer it's pretty cool at any rate that is what I understand about this magnifier program I really recommend it it's free from Windows just download it like I said or access it like I said and uh, go from there okay thanks for your time and send me any comments you want and have a great day bye bye